My name is Rachel and I wanted to do a quick video on um, being a first time Puggle puppy owner. This is actually the first time I've ever owned a puppy period and I just wanted to share some of the things that I've learned um, along the way. I have had Manny, this is Manny, say hi Manny, yeah, Manny is a Puggle, he is four and a half months old and I adopted him about a month and a half ago when he was just um, three months old or 12 weeks. Um, so one thing that I've learned is that puppies can be expensive. Um, you can buy them from breeders, you can buy them from pet stores. Um, it's great to avoid puppy mills, um, but we can also adopt them and uh, go to you know rescue, rescue uh, shelters and things like that, pounds, things like that. So I actually did look um, for you know a, a puggle puppy to adopt but i was very specific in what i wanted i wanted a puggle ever since i they like came to my knowledge like 10 15 years ago maybe it was even longer than that um so i really wanted this specific breed and it was very difficult to find rescue puggles um so i wound up um going to a pet store and uh, they made me a deal, which was great. It was still expensive though. Um, so just that's the first thing is that it can be expensive to buy a puppy. Second thing is that um, puppies, especially when they're little, 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 um, they need to be house trained, of course. So I um, had the experience of learning how to crate train a puppy. So I got a crate um, and I can share, maybe I'll share the link in the description of the crate that I got that was um, perfect because it had like holes in it. It's like a metal crate that, um, that they can see out of from anywhere. Um, so I didn't go with like the plastic kind, like the carrier kind. Um, I got a crate that was big enough to have a little bit of room for him to grow, but then I put a divider in it so that he couldn't move around too much because Otherwise, he can um, move around and go to the bathroom in the far side of the crate. Um, so crate training, that's thing number two. If um, if you get a puppy that is already kind of housebroken, that's great. Um, Manny was like super duper smart. One thing I noticed about him in the pet store when I visited him the first couple of times is that he really did not like going to the potty on the floor. He would become a little bit distressed. I could tell when he was gonna need to use the restroom and I would ask you know the the pet shop folks hey he needs to go can I you know I can take him out or if you want to take him out and they're like oh no he'll just go on the floor he hated going on the floor so probably by the time you get a puppy unless it's super tiny they're already going to start to be somewhat housebroken um so crate training and and potty training is thing number two um thing number three potty at night slash accident. So potty at night, your puppy is going to have to go out two or three times in the night. Um, so that was something that was difficult to me to get used to, but it is not um, going to last forever. It is temporary. So I would um, get up, you know, two or three times, he would be crying and I would take him out. The great news is that somewhere between three and for me, four and a half months um, is when the puppy can sleep all the way through the night without going to the potty as long as you go let them go potty um right before bed and i f i feed um manny his dinner around five like 5 30 max rarely later than 5 30. Uh, and then i take his water dish away around eight o'clock because i typically will go to bed at like 10 and it's recommended that two at least two hours before bed you um, restrict the water so um so with that and just learning what his cries sound like um the puppy is going to cry because they want attention too so if you um if you learn kind of the sound of the puppies crying for me when um, manny would kind of like lose umph in his cry like like it would get quieter and quieter. I know it was so cute. It was, it's so, so cute. But I would just kind of lay in bed and give it a couple minutes instead of jumping right up to go get him. And if I would hear him start to like 
wind down and get sleepy and his his cries would get softer he would eventually um, just stop and fall back asleep um, so accidents so um, I guess that's really should be its own category so um, number three at night training the puppy to sleep through the night hang in there um, it may be kind of a rough month month and a half but for me, it was less than a month and a half, and he did fantastic. And I maybe could have, could have um, trained him to hold it through the night, but I didn't. So don't worry, it's only temporary, and you will be getting your beauty rest again very, very soon. Um, so, what number are we on? Accidents. So, whatever number that is, accidents. Um, it's really important not to punish the puppy if they have an accident in the house. And I'll tell you that my puppy um, had accidents mostly when it rains outside because he hates going out in the rain, hates it. So um, I've only kind of like jumped on him when he, when he was going in the act. So in the act, I would like grab him and show him and like, don't do that. And, but take him right outside, right outside. And if the, the puppy's already gone, you can't, you can't interrupt it. So um, if you see them start to go, just pick them up and take them out. Um, but if they've already done it, like I said, they're not going to remember. So if you're like mad or if you, you know, like try to put their nose in it or something, like they're not going to understand. Only if they're doing it right then. And the only time that I ever like put his face next to it was when he has already been potty trained and he was just, he was just being what I thought he was being naughty and maybe that's not the right thing to do um, but only happened twice he's never done it again and it was just because I knew like he knows he knows not to go inside he was he was very well potty trained by then um, so so be patient with the puppy um, if they're having an, an accident or they had an accident just take them outside and um, you can use cue words when you're potty training like um, go pee pee or go poo poo. So that's what I say, or I'll say go potty. And he knows that potty and pee pee are number one, or pee, and poo poo is number two. So, um, and just be patient because sometimes the puppy needs to like run around and explore a little bit before they go to the bathroom. Um, make sure that you give them ample time, especially when they just wake up or right before bed to do both. Um, Okay, what else have I learned? Puppies love to play a lot, a lot. So get toys that are appropriate for the puppy, um, like getting the little um, chewy toys that are really soft. I bought some for um, puppies that are sp puppy specific because their little teeth are coming in, so their gums are sore. So I got the really super soft um, puppy toys not just the dog to chew toys. And of course the size is important. You want to get um, small enough for the puppy. Um, and the last thing that I've learned as a first time puppy owner is that they're super fun and loving and so cute. Oh, he makes me get out in nature and, and walk and have fun and we play and he snuggles and cuddles and he always wants to be with you. And your puppy is going to love you so much. So they are a huge responsibility, um, but they're so worth it if you want one. And I'm going to do another video in how I selected Manny. Um, I think it's really important to select the right um, puppy for you. And um, so I want to share that, what I've learned from my experience and from my research. So for now, we're going to say bye-bye. Oh, sleepy. And another thing, they sleep a lot. So prepare for lots of snuggles and cuddles and they do follow you everywhere, but they're very loving and they bring you very much joy. So hope you have fun um, with your new puppy. Uh, if you have any questions or want me to do another video, please let me know in, in the comments below and feel free to subscribe and I will see you in the next video. Bye.